Hey what is up guys it is technology hell back here welcome back to another video you can see this microphone on your screen today i am going to show you that how you can make this on your own with just some local supplies which are lying just around you so without wasting much time let's begin So let's have a look at the things which you will need for making the microphone. Firstly you need a piece of pipe. You can take any PVC pipe of a diameter about 5 cm and then just cut it short according to the length of your palm. Then you need a small push button switch. You need an old earphone to extract the condenser. You need a female 3.5 mm aux bolt a few zip ties some wire mesh sponge and of course some wire and the basic tools like cello tape rubber tape scissors and pliers so let's begin at first you need to break apart the earphone you will find a small box like structure you just need to break this thing apart and inside it you will find lots of things and among them will be your condenser microphone so this is the microphone you just need to cut it out from this wires and then you can just throw the earphone off so this is the condenser microphone on which our today's project is going to be based you need two like this so you need two dead earphones in order to get this thing so now we have this 3.5 mm jack this is actually the female port so we'll be connecting it to the microphone so that we can use it with multiple aux cables so you need to just break this thing off and then extract this 3.5 mm jack from here so you can also find one condenser microphone present here so you can just take this thing and finish the requirements of two condensers So now you need to pick both the microphones and then just join them together using some rubber tape. Okay so now it's time to join both the microphones together. So firstly we'll apply a little bit of soldering paste. And then we'll just hit up with the soldering iron. Now get yourself something which can be used to cover up the surface of the pipe. Not the surface, just the face. So I found this bottle cap, you can also use cardboard and then just cut it for the size of the face of the pipe. So let me just cut it down. Ok so I have cut it according to the size of the mouth of the pipe and now I have made 3 holes in it so that I can pass the wires of the microphone. Ok so here it is ready. Now I will insert some of the sponge which I have brought for this project out here and make a base for it. Ok so I have made a base with sponge for this microphone and it is actually looking like some of a fruit but anyways this is the thing and now we need to pass this wire from the pipe but before that I need a custom arrangement which is a switch in the microphone. This thing is actually optional if you wish then you can install it otherwise you can make it direct. So I'll have to cut a hole here so let me just cut a hole in this thing. So I have made a hole in the pipe where the switch can easily fit and now it's time to connect the wires from the microphone to the switch.
So I have soldered the wire, the ground wire, I broke it into two pieces and connected it to the switch. So when the switch is on, the mic will be active and if the switch is turned off, the mic will stop giving any sort of sound to the system. So just pass the secondary wire from the switch and then get it out from the other side to connect to the connection ports. So now we can just fix this thing out here using some rubber adhesive. Okay so the sponge part has got perfectly stuck with the pipe and now it's time to fix the switch in the hole. Suddenly I realized that if the switch was pressed too hard then it might go inside and would create a problem. So I looked for a solution and I came up with an idea that I'll fill the interiors with newspaper and then since the area will be filled up there will be no chance that the switch might go inside. So everything is done, now it's time to connect the connector to the microphone which is this 3.5mm audio jack. So let's just solder the wires to this connector. Here I need to tell you one thing that there are three terminals, the ground, left and the right. So we made three terminals out here, one is ground, one is left and one is right. It is recommended that you connect both the terminals, the left and the right together and then connect it to the port. In this way, both the channels will have equal voice of your microphone and will not create much noise. So that's it, you can just go on.
Microphone is ready, looking damn good and quite professional. It can be easily connected to any desktop or laptop with the help of an aux cable and that's quite easy and makes it portable without any wire creating no mess. So everything is done, now it's time to have a test and see how this microphone is performing. So here I have connected the microphone to my computer and as you can see on the computer screen you can see the microphone is connected and as soon as I am speaking you can see the visualizer showing changes in voice. So let me just switch to the sound recorder and let's have a check that how this microphone is performing. So we are using audacity voice recorder in this case so let's press on the record button and have a test. Hey what's up guys it is technology held back here. We have built our own do it yourself microphone and here we are testing it. When we are not speaking anything, you can see that the waves are straight and are not showing any change which means there is no unnecessary noise. And the first part where you could see the waves which are properly recorded with a little bit of noise. Let me just tell you the noise suppression for the microphone is turned off and therefore there is a little bit of background noise when I am not speaking anything. If you don't know what is noise suppression and how it works, you can press the i button or check the link in the description. I have made a video where I have explained what is noise suppression and how it works. So that's it for this video. The microphone is working really cool. If you are making one microphone, write down in the comments and let me know how it's working and did you succeed or not. If you are stuck anywhere or facing any problems, write down in the comments your problem, I'll surely help you out. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as we come up with such stuff every week. Thanks for watching.